All right, Brian, thank you. Time now to ask the expert. And today we are talking about antibacterial soap and why the FDA is targeting these widely used hand soaps. So joining us now is Dr. Brian Baer. And Dr. Baer, why is the FDA really concerned about this antibacterial soap? Well, the obvious answer is that, and it's been all over the news recently, is that there are, there are antibiotics in these soaps, and at least two antibiotics, and this is going to create worldwide resistance to uh, bacteria, and this, as you know, is a huge problem. The other thing is that triclosan, a product we've already discussed on Ask the Expert, and triclocarbon, these two products have been found to have impacts on the hormonal milieu as well as be carcinogenic. And what's interesting is, is they found that it alters thyroid function and it also, also alters the cell's ability to respond to estrogen and testosterone. And so many people are still using these types of soap. Is there any evidence that it's, it's better than just using, you know, plain old regular soap and water? I think this is why this problem has, and discussion has come up. The FDA has said there is no evidence. They gave industry uh, a mandate three years ago to prove that there's good data that it's better than soap and water. Industry hasn't done that. So now they're giving them a little bit more time to prove it. But what's disturbing to me is that industry knows that these chemicals are a problem and they keep selling these products. All right, so as you know, we're coming upon the flu season and we're always telling people, wash your hands, wash your hands. What should we be doing as we wait for better data? Well, I think avoid any of these products that have these substances and it requires you to look at the ingredient label in the store. But soap and water, a good scrubbing with soap and water is still the best. It's also okay to use hand sanitizers. They're alcohol based and they do a great job at killing bacteria. But after repeated use, use of hand sanitizers, you really need to use soap and water to wash it off to get the benefit. So the FDA is waiting, giving the industry a little while to, to make to prove their point. But my question is, is, is when do they say it's unsafe, considering there is so much bad in these soap? Well, they have now said it's unsafe, and they're giving industry a chance mm. to provide data, even to though, that. in my mind, it's not kosher. And I think from a community standpoint, we should all just be using hand sanitizers or soap and water. OK, now we know. If you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can leave a voicemail right there. We got the number for you.